Next question is from Lucy ZL3. I spend most of my day sitting on a chair due to online classes. Is there any benefit to sitting cross-legged for hip mobility or should I just do exercises to prevent low back pain? You know, one of the best things you can do if you're sitting all day, it's and this is like magic, okay, is to every hour get up and do five minutes of easy, you know, mobility work. That's it. Every single hour for five minutes, get up and do something for mobility for your upper back or your hips or mm -hmm. your ankle. And just do that every hour. It, with the clients that I've worked with who were, you know, worked in tech, who did sit for long hours, you know, long bouts of time, this was the most effective thing to do. Changing how you sit can definitely help. Mm -hmm. But here's the thing about sitting. When you're sitting, you're not active. So if I sit cross-legged, now I'm in a static stretch with this cross-legged position. It might improve my, my range of motion, but it's not going to necessarily improve my mobility. But standing up and doing an active mobility thing like a leg swing or – getting on the floor real quick, a 90-90 or combat stretch or handcuffs with rotation or, or do a wall press, that's going to improve your mobility. And literally just five minutes every hour. If you're working for eight hours, that's 40 minutes of mobility work. That, that does a pretty good job. Hmm. I, I like to sit and uh, uh, <sighs> basically do a few things. I do cross my leg uh, every now and then when I'm getting tight and I can feel that like in my piriformis, it, it starts to uh, you know, really act up if it's over a certain amount of time when I'm driving and I'm doing certain repetitive patterns, I try to really pay attention to my foot position. And so uh, there's there's little things that little angles make, they go a long way uh, because of the fact that I'm always fighting that, 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 that winding up that tends to happen when I let the pattern go too long. And so to interrupt that pattern, I just try to be more conscious of it, like in how my whole, like how I'm sitting and how my posture is with my sitting and then what I can somewhat do to counter some of these things. So, uh, you know, some of it is internal rotation for me. I have to constantly be conscious of because of the fact that I'm always, my tendency is always to be uh, externally rotating out and my that's my comfortable position. And, and this is just what happens over time where I just keep my, my heel tends to come in, my toes come out and I'm constantly putting pressure on the pedal back and forth and back and forth. And then I come and I sit in the studio and I'm sitting and now I, I notice my leg is in that certain position. So, um, you know, in terms of it being like a ritual and something that you're cognizant of, I think there's value in that. But what Sal said, like interrupting and doing actual uh, mobility exercises that will unwind you, very valuable. But also like too, you just just try to uh, know that certain things will will create this this type of, of tightness and pain and to be able to recognize that and how you're sitting and how your posture is, is also very beneficial. Now by cross-legged, what do you think she means by that? Do you think she means like literally crossing her legs like the way mine are or Sal is right now? Or do you mean, you think it means like sitting Indian style? It could be well, either right or, or hip like I this. I go sort of wide, you know, with my knee here and I'm pushing down pressure on my knee yeah. to, to relieve some tension. But yeah, I don't know. What Cause, she, cause what a lot of times, I mean, I'll tell you being just totally honest about, I mean, the reason why I cross, it's like, that's not an ideal thing. It's because it's, it would, it's more uncomfortable to have my hips opened up. So I'm actually crutching that issue, right? That's not a good thing. It's not a good thing that I cross my legs. It's not help. It may be giving me- It's not because you're modest? <laughs> no, it's, uh, <laughs> it's giving me temporary relief in my hips and my low back. So that's why I'm curious about w why she's alluding to, would crossing my legs be a good idea? Crossing your legs may be giving you temporary relief because you're you're internally rotating even more, and yeah. to externally rotate feels tight on your hips and pulls on your low back, which means you need to be doing more of that, not the other way around. Yeah, you're resting in that too. You're not. That's like, yeah. yeah. So that's my point. Like so, uh, you know, if someone sits like uh, normally Indian style, which is normally the opposite of how most of us are. Most of us have an issue, unlike Justin. Most of us have an issue of being like more internally rotated, mm. and so crossing your legs is, is is a way of like crushing that. It feels comfortable on my hips and my low back to constantly be going back and forth between crossing my two legs. That is not a good habit. I'll be the first to admit that. So if you're asking that as a, a thing that you should do, um, that's not helping uh, your low back. It's helping it temporarily because you're sitting down and the hips feel tight, but you're actually crutching the, the issue. Yeah, the, sure. the issue is you probably lack good external rotation in the hips. And so that's why that feels comfortable because it gives you temporary relief. Mm. What you need to do is get down every hour and get in some 90-90 positions and, and work, and work on, on your core strength as well. Right.